the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our prayers, and show us the way, show us uh, and and since we have, and since without you, our human frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace that we may follow you and your commands. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, the Israelites came to the desert of Sinai and pitched camp. While Israel was encamped here in front of the mountain, Moses went up to the mountain to God. Then the Lord called him and said, Thus shall you say to the house of Jacob, Tell the Israelites, You have seen for yourselves how I treat the Egyptians and how I bore you on the eagle's wings and brought you here to myself. Therefore, if you hearken to my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my special possession, dearer to me than all the other people, through all this earth is mine. You shall be to me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The song is we are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully the Lord, all your lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know the Lord is God. He made us. His we are, his people. <coughs> the flock he tends. We, we are, are his people, people, the sheep of his flock. The Lord is good. His kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. We are, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, Christ, while we were still helpless, yet died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person. Through perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us. In that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we are now justified by his blood, we will be saved through him from the wrath. Indeed, if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, how much more, 
once reconciled, will we be saved by his life. Not only that, we all boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At the sight of the crowds, Jesus' heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Then he summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits and <clears throat> to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the 12 apostles are these. First, Simon, called Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James, the son of Alphaeus uh, and, <coughs> and Thaddeus. Simon from Cana, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, do not go to pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, make this proclamation, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we've enjoyed another awesome week in our beautiful paradise, and it was a week that had a beautiful and very awesome national holiday. Wednesday, the 14th of June, was Flag Day. On June 14th in 1777, the Second Continental Congress approved the design for the American flag, a design which we've kept to this day, it was 13 alternating red and white stripes, and then a field of blue on which there were 13 white stars. It was decided that we would, the stripes would remain always constant for the 13 colonies, but the stars, they got gradually increased as the number of states increased. The last change in our flag came in 1960 when Hawaii was added as the 50th state, and we've had a 50-star flag since 1960. Most Americans and most of our elected officials have a great respect for the American flag. It's always the highest flag when it's accompanied by others. It's always the center flag when it's accompanied by others. It represents our nation. It's our national emblem. It's a sign of our country. So forever in peace may it wave. And it's beautiful that we take the time each year to celebrate Flag Day. And we all know that this weekend is Father's Day. So to all our fathers and grandfathers and great-grandfathers and godfathers and stepfathers and foster fathers and all those who have been father-like figures in our lives, whether they're living or they're deceased, we remember them in a special way uh, this weekend. And so I decided that I would like to honor Father's Day by sharing some of the wisdom of fathers, if you will. There's a whole category of humor known as dad jokes. 
and maybe you'll have noticed them, but they cover the entire back page of our bulletin this week. I had such fun looking them up and sharing them, and I hope that you'll have fun reading them and sharing them with your families. Things like, I'm the youngest of three in my family. Both my parents are older. I was wondering why the baseball got larger as it got closer, and then it hit me. <laughs> I never liked facial hair, but then it started to grow on me. I couldn't, I failed the spelling bee. I couldn't spell Armageddon. It's not like it's the end of the world. <laughs> At any rate, enjoy them very, very much. I called my brother for, for Father's Day. He's single, and I wished him a happy Father's Day. And his comment was, do you know something I don't know? <laughs> And I'm waiting for a message from Eddie and Andy for Father's Day. It hasn't come yet, but there's still time. I'm sure that phone call will come through or that text message or that email. But last year, they actually went out and bought me a card. That's a big step. I think parents recognize this. It had two owls on it. So they actually looked at the cards when they picked it out and got it. And then they wrote the interior themselves. And I saved the card. And since I was still waiting to hear this year, I pulled out the card from last year and I reread it. Now, they gave it to me late, I admit, but they gave it to me when we got together about two weeks after Father's Day last year. And this is what the card said. Happy Father's Day. How lucky you are to have us as sons. You are twice blessed to be in our presence. So excited for this time together with our very own senior citizen. Even though you may be old and weak, we still love you. Those are words that would warm any parent's heart <laughs> over there. But the fact that they wrote them themselves is important, and I appreciate that. Our gospel today comes from St. Matthew. It's a very famous passage where Matthew chooses the 12 disciples who would become his 12 apostles, and he sends them out into the world, into his harvest field, with great power. The number 12 is significant. For Jesus, it represented the 12 tribes of ancient Israel. We have that to look back on, plus the 12 apostles. In our calendar, we have 12 months. I looked up some interesting trivia. 12 is the largest number with only one syllable in all of our counting. And 12 has come to stand for completion or fullness or even perfection. There's something good about knowing that there's 12 of something. And Jesus sends, he chooses the 12 apostles and he equips them with power and he sends them out to do his work. I like to think that that didn't stop with the apostles. Jesus chooses each one of us because of our baptism. Jesus sends us out into his harvest to do his work. Jesus equips us with power to do that work if we follow his commands. And Jesus sends us out having equipped us. He doesn't choose people who are already equipped. He gives us what we need to do his work on the earth. I was reminded this week of a quote kind of famous from President Abraham Lincoln. It was before one of the great battles of the Civil War in the 1860s. And one of his generals came to President Lincoln and said, we had better pray that God is on our side. And Lincoln very famously responded, it would make more sense to pray that we're on God's side all the time. And that stands true for us as well. God bless you. We stand together for the words of our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus 
Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, who in him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was an incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With great hope and great trust, we bring our prayers to God, our loving Father. We pray for our church, for all those who continue to teach us God's message. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord our prayers. For peace in our world, for the protection of the men and women in our military forces, for those Christians anywhere who are still persecuted, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who need our prayers because of their illnesses, all those who are facing surgery or recovering from it, all those on our parish prayer list, we ask your prayers for David Chitkowskis, Bonnie Bly, Donna Calvera, Michelle Fridlinton. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Among those who have died, we ask your prayers for Gavin Martin. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. On this Father's Day weekend, for all of our fathers and those men who have been father-like figures in our lives, whether they're currently a living or have died already, for them we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. The special intention of this Mass is for all the parishioners of St. John the Baptist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty God, we give you thanks for all your blessings. Keep us close to you today and throughout our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For your goodness we have this wine to offer. For to the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, when the offerings play, uh, presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and re renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide 
may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. So with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, indeed of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her together in the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, George Leo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace.
Please give her it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We invite those who are viewing the Mass from home because they're unable to attend Mass in person to join with Larry in reciting the prayer for spiritual Holy Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul and body. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, into my soul, and into my body. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. We remind you to please take home a copy of our parish bulletin as a treat for Father's Day. I've listed a number of those Father's Day uh, uh, dad jokes, and I hope you'll share them uh, around. That's the best form of flattery is to imitate them and to share them. Also, every year I try to come up with a little gift for Father's Day. We've done banners, we've done pins, we, we've done duct tape in the past, and this year came up with something that I, that I think is pretty good. It's a pen, but it's not only a pen. It's also a stylus. It's not only a pen and a stylus, it's also a level. Not only that, but it has a ruler on it. 
Not only that, but if you open it up, it has a screwdriver. Not only that, but if you turn it over, it has a Phillips head screwdriver. It has everything on it but a back scratcher. Uh, and so it's kind of a nice gift. And so that's for all of our fathers. And as we did with the mothers, uh, we'll be generous to the fathers too. So any gentleman is welcome to take one. Fathers get one for Father's Day. The other guys, you get one just for being a guy on Father's Day. So please see me at the end of Mass. The nice thing about the the pens and the other devices there is for some reason the company sent us hundreds of refills. So should the pen run out, we'll have the refills here at church and you can pick up them as you need them as long as they last. So please stand and let us pray. As the reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And with Spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.